New Guinea. Singing dog, hidden wonders revealed. Ever heard of a dog that sings? No, it's not a Disney movie. It's the New Guinea singing dog, a truly unique breed with a fascinating history. But before you picture yourself serenading the moon with your own furry songbird, hold on to your leash. This breed isn't your average canine companion. These dogs are known for their haunting melodies, often described as a mix of yodeling, howling, and even chortling. It's a captivating sound, a glimpse into a different way of communication between humans and animals. But here's the thing. Vocalizations aren't like your typical doggy bark. They can be quite loud and persistent, especially when these social creatures feel isolated. Living in an apartment building with a singing dog might not be the recipe for harmonious living. Now, let's talk about the wild side. New Guinea singing dogs are an ancient breed, descended from wild canines. This translates to a strong hunting instinct and a desire for freedom. They're not exactly couch potatoes, they crave adventure and exploration. Fenced-in yards are a must, and escape-proof measures are highly recommended. Remember, these dogs are natural-born Houdinis. This isn't just about owning a pet. It's about connecting with a living piece of history, a dog with a voice unlike any other. It's a commitment, an adventure, and a chance to experience the world through the eyes and ears of a truly fascinating creature. This isn't a breed for the faint of heart or eardrum. They require experienced owners who can provide a stimulating environment, plenty of exercise, and a whole lot of understanding. But for those who can offer a loving home that caters to their unique needs, these dogs can be incredibly rewarding companions. So, is a New Guinea singing dog the right fit for you? Let's find out, shall we? Dare to dream wild, folks. Welcome back to Legalized Exotic Pets, your haven for pals, some exotic pet care guides, and everything in between. Speaking of that, hold your horses for a sec. Before we bolt into the next segment, I gotta ask a favor from my favorite pack, the subscribers. We're wagging our virtual tails with all the new faces joining the channel every day, but the more the merrier, right? So, if this video had you howling with laughter or barking with excitement, then smash that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. It helps us sniff out even more amazing content to bring right to where you are. Now, where were we? Of course, New Guinea Singing Dog, Hidden Wonders Revealed. Forget pop stars, the New Guinea Singing Dog is the original vocalist of the canine world. This isn't your average woof and fetch kind of pup. This ancient breed hailing from the lush highlands of New Guinea serenades the world with a unique repertoire of howls, yodels, and even chortles. Imagine a dog that sounds like a cross between a soulful singer and a playful dolphin. That's the magic of the New Guinea singing dog. But hold on a second. These melodic mutts are shrouded in mystery and are considered one of the rarest dog breeds on the planet. Here's why. For starters, they've been around for a very long time. Unlike most domesticated breeds with traceable histories, New Guinea singing dogs are thought to be descended from wild canines that arrived on the island thousands of years ago. They basically evolved alongside the people of New Guinea developing a unique way to communicate with each other. Secondly, unlike most breeds that were selectively bred for specific traits, New Guinea singing dogs haven't been extensively domesticated. They haven't undergone the dramatic physical and behavioral changes seen in other breeds. This wild spirit makes them less common as pets, but it also adds to their allure. Here's the catch. Their rarity isn't just about a lack of breeding programs. New Guinea's dense rainforests and remote villages made it difficult for explorers to discover these dogs until the mid-1900s. By then, interbreeding with introduced dogs 
had likely already begun, making purebred New Guinea singing dogs even harder to find. So, if you ever encounter a dog that sounds like it belongs in a choir more than a kennel, you might be witnessing a living piece of history. These rare vocalists are a fascinating reminder of the deep connection between humans and canines, a bond that goes beyond barks and belly rubs and extends to the realm of melodic communication. Since their discovery in the mid-1900s, their wild population has dwindled due to threats like habitat loss and hunting. The rainforests they call home are being cleared for agriculture, shrinking their space and resources. On top of that, some villagers might see them as pests, leading to hunting for food or to protect livestock. But the biggest threat might be a case of mistaken identity. These dogs can interbreed with other canines, and with more domesticated dogs being introduced to New Guinea, the purebred singing dog is at risk of disappearing altogether. Their unique genes and melodic magic could be lost in a mutt mix. Thankfully, there are heroes in this story, conservationists. Special breeding programs are working to preserve the purebred New Guinea singing dog, ensuring their survival and their captivating songs for future generations. Forget the typical barks and growls. As previously mentioned, these pups are nature's opera singers, serenading the world with a symphony of howls, yodels, and even chortles. These vocal talents are likely a result of their long history as wild canines. Unlike most domesticated breeds bred for specific tasks, New Guinea singing dogs haven't lost their reliance on vocal communication. They haven't traded their songs for fetch and belly rubs. They have both. These social creatures use their unique vocalizations to connect with each other and their human companions creating a fascinating and beautiful form of canine conversation. Hey, paw some viewers, hold your horses for a sec. Before we bolt into the next segment, I got to ask a favor from my favorite pack, the subscribers. We're wagging our virtual tails with all the new faces joining the channel every day, but the more the merrier, right? So if this video had you howling with laughter, or barking with excitement, then smash that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. It helps us sniff out even more amazing content to bring right to where you are. Now, where were we? Of course, recent scientific discoveries. Don't worry, this has mystery and intrigue. The New Guinea singing dog, once shrouded in mystery, is slowly revealing its secrets thanks to modern science. Recent research has unearthed some fascinating details about these melodic mutts. For years, scientists believed these singing stars were a completely separate breed, but a genetic paw print analysis surprised everyone. It turns out New Guinea singing dogs are closely related to a lesser known wild canine, the Highland wild dog think of them as the wilder cousins of the singing dogs. This discovery rewrites the history books. It suggests that the singing dogs didn't arrive in New Guinea as a distinct breed, but rather evolved from these wild ancestors. Over time, living alongside humans, they likely developed their unique vocalizations, a way to communicate and bond with their people. The research also holds promise for conservation. By understanding the genetic link between the singing dog and the highland wild dog, scientists can develop better breeding programs to preserve the purebred singing dog. It's like finding a missing puzzle piece. This knowledge helps ensure the survival of these melodic marvels and their fascinating songs. Who would want their piercing vocals to suddenly vanish? We at Legalized Exotic Pets sure wouldn't want it. The enchanting melodies of the New Guinea singing dog are a fading chorus. These rare pups, once shrouded in mystery, are facing a silent threat, extinction. Habitat loss and interbreeding with introduced dogs 
are putting their unique songs at risk of disappearing forever. But there's hope. Raising awareness about these singing stars is key. By spreading the word about their fascinating history, unique vocalizations, and dwindling population, we can inspire action. Conservationists are working hard, establishing breeding programs to ensure the survival of purebred New Guinea singing dogs. The future of these melodic mutts rests on our shoulders. By shining a light on their plight, we can help harmonize the beautiful song of the New Guinea singing dog. <laughs> Their haunting melody isn't a lonely wolf howling at the moon. It is the captivating song of the New Guinea singing dog. These rare pups have stolen our hearts with their unique vocalizations. But as we learned, their future isn't guaranteed. So, what do you think? Can you imagine a world without these melodic marvels? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's start a conversation about how we can protect these singing stars and ensure their beautiful songs echo through the rainforest for generations to come. And if you're hooked on discovering more about the amazing world of rare dog breeds, don't forget to subscribe. We'll be diving into the fascinating stories, unique quirks, and heartwarming tales of other canine companions. So hit that subscribe button and get ready to explore the hidden gems of the dog world. There's a whole lot of tail wags and unexpected barks waiting to be discovered. Do you have any more exotic pets you'd like us to cover? Sound off below and let us know in the comment section. We'd love to hear about it. So stick around for our next installment and join us again for more exciting discoveries right here at Legalized Exotic Pets. Until next time,